Hi, uh, I would like to introduce a new program to you, which I have designed for many years. And of course, many of our parents, we have problem with our kids. Sometimes it's because of health, emotion needs, or characters, or their behavior, or their learning difficulties. I think most of parents worry about their children learning. So when the child is facing difficulties in their learning, uh, the most difficult part actually comes from three areas. One is their physical health. Just like us, if we are sick, we can't perform well in our office. Or emotionally, we are disturbed that we quarrel with wife, you know, then the, when we go to office, we can't do our job properly. So same as child, if they are physically is not fit, it's so difficult to learn. And if they are emotionally being disturbed, they, they don't like the school, don't like the teachers, they will not want to learn. Uh, finally is whether they have learning abilities or not. This is what my program is. And uh, what is learning abilities? So before that, I need to explain how can a child as, as a person to learn knowledge. There are three basic presentation of objects used in education so that we can teach or transmit some knowledge to our children. When we are young, our parents use figure to teach us. He will point at the ceiling, the light, he will say, this is light, and by himself, he said, father, call me father. And this is television, table, and chair. And we tell them, this is apple. Well, that is easy to understand of his figure And sometimes he go up like that. Don't look like apple, but still have the shape. So we still can recognize this is an apple. But it's difficult to teach knowledge only through figure up. What happens if we need to tell them 10,000 apple? Then we have to draw like Mac, right? So we need symbolic. So we have symbolic to write 10,000. So just a few letters. Now, apple. So we use the symbolic apple. And parents say that, wow, apple is so simple to spell and you take whole day, a whole afternoon to spell apple. You are lazy. In fact, it's not true. La. When from figure change to symbolic, there's a great jump. You see, there are so much different. So children need to have some abilities to recognize these are the same thing. So let's try all these in different languages it's all apple so will you want to try how to write or spell apple in Japanese you just saw it can you do it oh, it's not easy okay so it's not easy to uh, recognize from figure to symbolic so they need certain abilities so that they can learn the Third things that we pass the knowledge to someone, we need semantic. So semantic is something that we cannot use figure to draw. But some people say that can uh, I use heart shape to represent uh, uh, love, uh, the father loves the child, the brotherly loves. Um, but if every love you use this symbol is not accurate. So for each type of this presentation, we need basic skill, basic ability so that we can learn this thing. Just like abilities to differentiate, to recognize it, to categorize it, to recall and uh, have different names. So let's have some try. Can you spot how many differences in these two pictures? Wow, it's quite simple. There's a big ball here, and this is something is different. The color is different, and this is color difference. And there's one clock missing here. Okay, so uh, it's not easy 
for Chinese characters. I have one children, he read the whole words, the, the three words are the same. Ba, ba, ba. Actually, it's not. He, he didn't uh, spot this dog. You say, well, is, is that true or not? It's so big dog, he cannot spot it. Yes. O and A is a little bit different. If he has poor observation, then he has difficulties to uh, recognize it. So let's try. How many eggs are there? Well, so you realize that we need good observation so that you can spot the egg. How many A are there? Well, you will realize that we need all these abilities. So learning language, we need to have good observation. If the child takes longer time to recognize this is A, and then he look again, takes so long to recognize this is P, and this is P, and this is L, and this is E. Oh, this is Apple. Wow. By the time he read the sentence, he forgotten everything. So he has to read again. So poor observation will lead to having a problem in comprehension. So all children need different kind of abilities. There are a total of 30 different kinds of abilities so that he can learn. Just like if we want to train a child to learn, what are the abilities that they need before we can teach them to walk? Like his bone must strong enough to hold him. If he stand up, the bone broken, then he's not ready and he do not have the abilities to learn how to walk. And he is able to balance himself. If he cannot balance himself, then he is not ready to learn how to walk. And the muscle is strong enough to hold him up. If he cannot even stand up, how to learn to walk? So before we can teach him how to walk, we need to have these abilities in order to train him how to walk. So similarly, if a child goes to school, he needs to learn language, he needs to learn math, mathematics. So he needs abilities so that they can learn all these subjects. For language, we need about seven different kinds of abilities so that he can learn language. Like audio memory, he must be able to listen and remember it. And visual memory, look at the words, he can recognize, remember it. And he can have good observation, like just how we have go through uh, O and A. Uh, there are a total of seven different kind of abilities. If he has these abilities, then he is able to learn language. So when school wanted to teach him language, regardless if it's Chinese, English, or Tamil, or Malay, he can learn because he has the abilities to learn language. So, maths, mathematics, creativity, once you have these abilities, then you can learn. So, let's see some of the testimony. Now, this is the parents. Okay, now this mother was bring to us because the child having problem in learning. The psychology diagnosed him that while he is weak, you know, he cannot balance himself, he has all kinds of problems. And the psychology even recommend that uh, this child should go to those sub-normal school. He cannot attend the main school. So he is not able to read the whole sentences. He cannot you know, uh, do all the school uh, knowledge. He cannot learn at all. So the parents was worried and he sent to us. But after training, let's see what is the result. Well, this parent was so happy that after training, the child got second in the class, which was so surprised to her. And this is another testimony. Uh, 
The class started since February and this testimony will write written on March 15th of March. That means he come here for six time training. And she wrote, however, there is a great improvement. So she is four years old. The result will be easy to, to see because children they are young, they can learn faster. So the, the abilities when we teach her, she can pick up very fast. When the child is older, we take longer time to see result. So this training is specially tailor-made for each child. If the child come in, the computer will design a program specially for this child. Some abilities, if he is good at, then the computer will generate difficult problem questions for him to train. If he cannot do certain uh, training, then the computer will generate a, a little bit simple for him until he can do it. Then uh, he will go from there, uh, tailor make for him, then he will do as his uh, abilities. Slowly we will uh, bring out the abilities. Once he can do it, then we give a little bit difficult for the child so that he can uh, improve. Uh, when he reach to level 5, it, it will be as normal as everybody. So this is a new program, which I think uh, there are many, many children have benefited. So I hope you can go to uh, your agents, let your agent explain more about this program, and I hope your child will benefit from this program. Thank you.